Hey guys, how's it going? So, another week, another mobile suit, and we knew this one was coming, and uh, we thought it was last week, but it's this week. It's the Jetta. So, uh, right before we get into it, though, a uh, quick announcement about the podcast. Um, we'll be going on later tonight, and um, yeah, it's uh, pretty much the main thing is we're the next episode is going to be on the, I guess, 23rd or 30th. Um, where Emblem is taking a GBO2 hiatus, we're also kind of taking our sort of mini hiatus too. Uh, we'll be essentially talking about all the suits that come out between now and then, and kind of our thoughts on them and stuff like that. I'll still be doing the update video, so if you want to know what's coming out immediately, I'll try to get these up as soon as possible after each update, and go ahead and talk about my thoughts on the suits and stuff like that. But if you want to hear kind of what we think in the aftermath of a lot of this stuff, go ahead and watch the podcast. So it's pretty much getting moved to once a month kind of thing uh, for now. But uh, we might have some guests on, so there will be that. So uh, yeah, if we have guests on, we'll have episodes in between. There'll be an announcement, which will give me an excuse to use more of my Twitter and stuff like that. Also, that will be in the description below. But uh, yeah, and... Um yeah, let's go ahead and get into this one. I think that's it. I think I've done everything. I think I've done the announcement stuff. So, yeah. Jetta. It's pretty good. Sort of. It's got a lot of weird downswing issues. Um, I could try to find a video here, but I saw one where people were missing a lot. Other than that, I think that's just a straight bug from what it seems. So, once they get that fixed, the downswing should be pretty solid. It's kind of like a stamen mixed with a... Uh, uh, I actually haven't decided yet exactly what I would compare it to, but it definitely can get in there and brawl. And it's more range damage heavy. Now, I can't remember if the stamen actually has more range damage, but the thing is, you got an instant stun beam rifle. Uh, the hit missiles kind of are this like gimmicky damage thing. They're not really that crazy, so let's go ahead and take a look here at the video if it'll go ahead and load. If not, then I'll just continue talking and we'll move on if it. Okay, there we go. Cool, awesome. Thank you, Internet. So, the hit missiles, you have to stand still and shoot. Um, they have okay damage, they're decent damage, nothing too bad. But you shoot six, they don't really stagger, I don't think, um, from what I remember hearing. And the uh, arm grenades, they are pretty much the Zetas, exactly the same stagger value and things like that. Um, so you have kind of like an arm grenade Zeta thing in a cost where the Galbaldi Beta can stun with two of its arm missiles. Now, the problem is, is anything that has any kind of damage control, you can't really stun. So there is that. So comparatively, this is just a pretty solid suit overall for just build up stagger because your Vulcans are actually really good for that. Uh, I think it takes around 15 shots uh, from what I was hearing. And yeah, that is pretty good. I actually was running up against one just to see, and I got stunned really fast. It was actually pretty awesome. So dealing with raids, um, such as, well, since this thing has anti-stealth, the Night Seeker V. Uh, you can just hunt that thing down. If it tries to run, you hit it with the Vulcans, stun it, stun it with your beam rifle after that, and then just melee it to death and laugh. Or, you know, you can try to grenade it, and if you miss a few, go ahead and hit it with a couple of Vulcans, then it's stunned again, and then you can, well, yeah, everything else. So overall, pretty awesome suit for that kind of thing. You can definitely hunt down some raids, but its melee priority is two, whereas like something like the Galbaldi Beta has two dodge rolls and has three priority, which is the other thing. So it's still not the best front line overall, but it does have solid stats. Speaking of that, it's better than the Jigans, which this came before that, but from what I've been hearing in lore, this was a very expensive suit that they very they couldn't produce many of or something. And yeah, also I can't help but mention the, uh, I only need uh, 10 boxes to take your paycheck, but or something like that. Anyway, insert meme here. Kind of with like the last suit with the Doga, um, time to take that paycheck or whatever it was. But anyway, moving on to the suit. We've already got this one before. There it is again. And what I'm more happy for is the Zaku 3 Kai level 2, personally. It's got its own banner. You can spin on it. Looks really awesome. Um, the funny thing is, is it seemed really strong anyway. And I think they know that it's a pretty strong suit overall. And they did not give it Maneuver Armor 3 like the other 
uh, 700 cost raids have, which is kind of odd, but still a really solid suit. Stat upgrade is nice as well with 1,500 to its health. Definitely a really tanky raid. Moving on in though, GBO days. So um, get your free suits. There you go. It's always good when that comes around. Uh, then we have the um, what's the GPO three or GPO three GPO two beam bazooka level three and the GPO one level three added to the ticket shop. Um, way too expensive, like 475 tickets expensive. So no, uh, definitely don't do that. Way too many tickets. Uh, Palace Athene level one and two though. Hmm, it wasn't actually that expensive. So now I have both level one and two from where they gave it out for the month for having platinum. Uh, where the event was going on, that was easy to get by the second week, or second, sorry, not second week, but second section of the month. Second, third, I guess. But anyway, the Palace Athene, so good. I actually didn't know it had stationary, or no, uh, stabilizer. So when you crouch, you don't get stunned. It's essentially maneuver armor while crouching. So I guess that's a maneuver, right? That's a crouching maneuver. Uh, but anyway. Uh, Palace Athene, really good. Blow up stuff. You can pretty much just, like, if you ever counter, if you have your missiles ready and you ever counter somebody, you pretty much can delete them from existence. It's kind of funny. Or if you tackle into them, just shoot the ground. You can do that too. Uh, other than that, though, its shoulder beams are crazy. You have awesome damage everywhere. It is a beast of a suit. But you don't have a shield and you kind of have to crouch to really rely on stun mitigation. Again, though, the biggest thing is. It's kind of like a faz while you're crouched. So, yeah, make sure you use that. Um, then we have the DP store stuff. We have the full armor ground type Gundam. If you can buy that, which turns out it's only Master Sergeant 1, which is fantastic. Uh, really good uh, general that is. It's pretty much a general. Or, sorry, it's a yellow general. There we go. Uh, it's a support style play. Lots of damage. Really good suit. Can definitely recommend you have maneuver armor too which would be nice to every now and then get that put on a support please why can they do it for the general supports and not a support got the crouch thing i mean can we just get the crouch thing on just about every other thing can the normal four armor get stabilizer please please but anyway uh pell rider assault type and the space assault type awesome suit really fun if you can if you're high enough rank this one is actually absurd because it's a three star like it's probably like captain or something. who knows what it is it's probably really high so lots of fun though i think the level one and two are definitely a bit lower probably ensign one if i had to guess for that and yeah two good suits here with the pale rider heavy arms as well moving into the clan stuff i think i clicked the wrong one again but this time we're again in the 100 uh, top 100 to get the new suit it is going to be a 300 so that's this saturday at morning this is showing the jp one so it's another morning one uh 6v6 so a full team good luck to anybody trying to get that basic ruin city uh 300 cost good luck to anybody going for it looks like it's gonna be pretty cool um i'm trying to think of suits right now that i would play but yeah top 100 gets that and top 100 also gets um the world do or well I, uh Fear frame A. I don't know. It just seems like an ocean. Only there's no there's no continents on it. So I guess it's not the world. But it's a sphere, the radar sphere or something. I don't know. But yeah, sphere frame A, blue version. There you go. Good luck getting that. But anyway, that's all that there is in this update. So like, comment, subscribe, all that. Let me know in the comments what you think about everything in this update. What do you think about the Jetta? Did you get the Zaku 2 or Zaku 3? Kai level two and how do you like that how's the palace of theme going because i know the supports out there that don't have it are probably really excited to be able to get that and the um full armor ground get that if you don't have that either but anyway that'll be it for this one guys uh i think i already said like comment subscribe but there it is again usual links in the description twitch twitter discord stuff like that but have a good one guys thanks for watching peace